30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported to the CDC every year, mostly in the Northeast and the West, but it's spreading throughout the country. It's a condition that's not always easy to detect. In Health Watch, Shelly Bota tells us how researchers in one lab are working to change that. Lyme disease is caused by the bite of an infected black-legged or deer tick. The infection can be treated with antibiotics, but unless it's caught early, it can cause serious, long-lasting side effects like joint pain and fatigue. But new research may someday help doctors with a reliable diagnosis very early on. When Carrie Perry takes Roxy out to play, she gets a rub down with tick repellent. There's no way Carrie wants to risk a tick inside her home. That's because Perry's daughter, Samantha, had a three year long battle with Lyme disease starting in December of her sophomore year. Three day higher fever, neck ache, headache, but then it resolved. But after a few weeks, Sam began feeling exhausted. The competitive athlete kept going despite joint pain and nausea. In about 70% of the cases, patients develop a bullseye shaped rash. Sam had no rash, so Lyme was overlooked for seven months. UCF microbiologist Molly Jewett says there's a window of time after a tick bite when infection is difficult to detect. As the infection persists longer and longer over time, those bacteria can move from that tick bite site to different places in the body. Jewett and her team are researching how the bacteria evades the immune system. They're developing a new diagnostic test of a patient's blood for the very early presence of the bacteria. After Sam's diagnosis, she took antibiotics, but it was the eight weeks of hyperbaric oxygen therapy that finally did the trick. She's now a college junior studying abroad in Spain, recovered after years of agony. People don't understand Lyme. They don't understand what one tick can do to a person. Molly Jewett's lab is working with engineers at UCF to develop a Lyme detection module that could sit in a doctor's office, but says the device is still several years away. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botant, Local 5 News.